Welcome to our course, Excel Fundamentals Formulas for Finance. It can be a little bit overwhelming in Excel sometimes because there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, formulas and functions in the software, and it's hard to know which ones are the best ones to use within the finance profession. So this course effectively filters and sorts through all of those formulas and functions to focus you on the ones that are the most important for financial analysis. One of the other things that we've included in this course, which you may find incredibly useful, is this summary sheet that we're bringing up on the screen right now. There's some really helpful notes about the various functions in here, as well as some of the most common keyboard shortcuts that we find we use day in and day out. We've also taken all of those useful formulas and functions that get used in finance and put them together into categories or families that make sense. So we're going to look at pricing functions, aggregation functions, lookup functions, and a family of date functions, as well as a lot of functions which get used for return analysis, like NPV, IRR, XMPV, and XIRR as well. This course will not only explain the functions, but it will also show you the most common application of these functions so you can understand exactly how and where people use them. We also look at some of the nuances of these functions so you can understand some of the pros and cons of selecting one over another. As we mentioned earlier, the entire library of functions available in Excel can be very overwhelming. This course will save you immense amounts of time by helping you sift through, focus only on the functions which are the most effective within the finance industry. There's lots to cover, so let's get in there and get started. So let's start off by discussing some of the learning objectives for this course so you can understand exactly what you will gain from your valuable time that you've invested in this course. Now, we discussed in the last video that we've organized these Excel functions into groups or families that make sense. The first one for us to discuss is the basic functions. So these get used typically to do statistical analysis on data sets. And this is going to be one of our foundational building blocks for the course. We're then going to look beyond these statistical functions and look at functions that get used to aggregate or summarize some of the results and group them in different way using aggregation functions. Now, a course like this would not be complete without a discussion of lookup functions. Not only are we going to discuss some of the newest lookup functions available in Excel, we're going to talk about some of the older ones as well. Why? You're going to encounter older legacy files with these functions in them, and you need to know how to audit them. We're also going to discuss date functions. Date functions can be really overwhelming. There can literally be hundreds to choose from. We're going to focus on a small group that can allow you to easily get 95% of the things done within the finance profession. We're also going to be discussing how to calculate various returns. We're going to look at the MPV and XMPV function, as well as the IRR and XIRR function to make sure that you know the difference and know how to choose the one that's most appropriate in all cases. And finally, as we walk through various parts of this course, we're going to be discussing some more advanced custom number formatting so you can understand how to properly format numbers as well as dates. Lots to cover in this course, and a lot of it is really fun. Let's jump in there and get started. Hi, my name's Duncan. I'm happy to be sharing this course with you. Excel can be quite overwhelming, and there can literally be just too many functions and formulas to choose from. I've used Excel for over 20 years in my career, and I've always enjoyed the time that I've spent with Microsoft Excel. A lot of the things that we'll be presenting in this course were things that I had to figure out myself along the way. One of the things I always like to do with these courses is try to teach you all the things that I wish I knew 20 years ago when I was starting out and when there was no CFI. So you're really going to find that this course is filled with powerful pro tips and advice on how to use Excel quickly and efficiently to get into the spreadsheets and get what you want out of them as quickly as possible. One of the key things with Excel is that you want to have a large vocabulary of functions that you know and understand. That way you can always be selecting the right one for the particular job or circumstance that you're encountering. 
The time that you spend investing in this course will really, really help you save much more time in the future as you're able to quickly sift through the hundreds of functions in Excel to focus on the ones which are going to help you get the job done the quickest. So I'm excited to share this time and some of my experience and advice with you over the course of these lessons. I look forward to getting into it and let's get in there and get started. Now, if you've taken one of our Excel courses before, you've definitely probably heard us talk about the advantages of using the keyboard. In particularly, it's used extensively in the finance industry for a few reasons. Let's discuss here some of the standard reasons why people choose the keyboard over the mouse. First of all, it saves time makes you more efficient. It also makes you more agile. You're easily available to move around the spreadsheets quickly and easily. The other thing is that it's pretty fun because you're going to be really, really efficient and you're going to be learning a new skill. But for me, the keyboard is more than that. You need to think about yourself and your computer as a team. Your brain is fast. The computer's brain, i.e. its processor, is also really fast. What's the slowest part of the system? The place where you interact with the computer. If you're using the mouse for that interaction, then you're wasting enormous amounts of time. The keyboard allows you to get your thoughts and commands into the computer as fast as possible so that you can move really, really quickly through your work. So one of the things that we really want to challenge you with in this course is to not use your mouse. And we're going to be showing you lots of keyboard use and showing you lots of shortcuts. It's going to feel really awkward and inefficient at the beginning. Promise you, if you invest time in it, you will thank yourself later as you will be a very, very efficient person in Microsoft Excel if you persevere with the keyboard. Let's jump in and get started with some shortcuts. Continue learning. Join CFI today.